Okay, here we are. Page three, tables. I love tables. Like I just, I don't know if it just taps into my inner OCD or what, but I just love, love, love tables. They're easy to do and they're fast to manipulate and you can organize stuff and then you are know what you're doing and life is good. Um, so I love I love tables. Let me show show you how to use them. So tables you have to begin by hitting insert here and I use this where it will dynamically show me what the table will look like and in our case today we're going to do a weekly calendar so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then I have one, two, three, four kids and my husband. Okay, so once you just click that, it'll put the table in. Now you'll notice, I got, I have to zoom in. I'm going to hold control, roll the bar, roll the ball on my mouse to zoom in, so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, you'll notice I left a hard return here above the table. That is important because if you don't have one right here, and you click up here, you you'll be like, how did you get above the table? I can't get above the table. I'm lost. Um, what, the, re, the way that you get above the table is control home and that will take you back to the top of the document. Ooh, that's not even working because we're on page three. Very not cool. So I would put my mouse here and go one click using my arrow key to get to the next page and enter. Oh gosh, see? That's just not good. I mean, it's fine, but that's why you always leave point in case. That's why you always leave a hard return above your table. It's really hard to get back to that space if it's not already there for you. So I'm going to show you something really quick here called a format painter. And I want this hard return to look exactly like this one. So I could go up here and change the font and the size and figure it all out and all that. But I'd rather just select the one I want it to look like, hit format painter, and then I just take it and brush it right over. And boom, it looks just like that. So let me do that again. Ready? Pick the one I want. Select again. Format Painter, and then brush it over where I want it to be. And I'll show you that again with text, um, but that's really fast. It's a great little tool. So here is my table. Let's put in the days. And the way that I'm entering these is my, my fingers are not leaving the keyboard because it's a lot faster if you can hit Enter and then Tab to go to the next cell. It will always go to the next cell to the right by hitting Tab. Oh man, that one didn't give it to me. That was lame. What's up with that, people? Okay, it's a good thing I know how to spell them, I guess. There you go. And then tab one more, and it takes you down to the next line. So um, we number our children, which some people find odd. But I find it's really efficient. But then again, their mom teaches computers, so there's that. One time my friend said to me, you number your kids? I'm like, well, yeah, because when you're yelling at them, it's way easier if you can just yell their number. And she said, well, yeah, but so you, I mean, I wouldn't want to be number two. <laughs> I was like, well, I had thought of that, but thanks for pointing that out. That, that would be kind of bad to be number two. Anyway, I'll wait till they figure that out, and we'll deal with that then. Um looks lovely but could look a lot better so we can make a lot of changes because I'm in the table I've got the table tools contextual tabs here I've got a choice between design and layout so let's go through design first you can drop this down and there's a gazillion different ways to automatically format your table I like this one and let's say you decide you didn't like it you could go right back up here and hit clear and it cleared out everything. All the borders are gone. Um, I'm just going to click in the table. So you don't have to highlight the whole table. Just click in the table and go with one that you want. Oh, that's way too negative. Okay, there we go. Blue is much better. I want to make this row a little bit taller. So I'm going to drag that down. I'm going to select that row. When I click over here in the column, it grabs the whole row. And then I want to um, ch 
change the shading. So maybe I'm going to make it a little bit darker than what the preset was. Excellent. Okay, so now I clicked off the table and that's why I lost my contextual tab. So when that happens, don't freak out. You just got to click into the table. Okay, borders are really cool and you have a couple of different options here. So you have some different border styles you could go with. Border sampler, you can get even more um, specialized. Got some squiggly lines. That's kind of awesome. Let's change the color to red. And the way that I use it is I would select the row I want it to go on and drop this down. So I'm going to say bottom border. And now you can see I got the little squiggly red border on the bottom. So I'm going to let you play with that a little bit more. The border pen is kind of fun. Um, it's more like painting. So give it a try. All right, let's click over to layout. And so here you have all the manipulations for the actual table. So starting left to right, you can select all the different ways. I, though, use um, my mouse, and so I will click once in a cell. If you have a little black arrow like that, it'll click everything. That just selected everything in that cell. If you're over here with the white arrow in the column, it grabs the whole row all the way across. Um, if you're up here and you get the down arrow, it'll grab the whole column. So those are the ones I use more often than actual these ones actually this this button. You can insert rows so you put your cursor here and say insert above. I'll do control Z to undo that and then you can also do the same thing with columns. Control Z. Just always make sure you know where your cursor is before you do those. Splitting a cell is kind of cool. Let's grab one here. So you could put your cursor here, split that cell into two columns same number of rows and it would look like that. So now you have two under there. Um, the opposite of that is to highlight the whole row and then go up here and merge the cells. And now you have one cell along the bottom. Sorry, every time I click off the table to unselect the particular cell I'm in, I lose my, um, my tab up here. Okay, split cells, merge cells. You could split a table if you needed to. Auto fit is one of my favorites, so you just click anywhere in the table and you can fit it to the content so the, the columns with more text will be bigger. You can auto fit to the window or you could have a fixed column width. So I use the auto fit to the window most often, which is, I believe, the default. These are important. These are how are your alignments. So you can go left, right, center, or you can also do it vertically. So for this row here, I'm going to put them all here. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, lost my thing there. <laughs> Text direction. This is one that people forget a lot, um, but you can turn things sideways. And so this is helpful if you're trying to get um, text down the side of your paper. You can sort it. Repeat header and rowers, header, header and rowers, wow, what is that? Repeat header and rows. So I could take this row, if this table was going to go onto a second page and I wanted this to be at the top of that page, I would just repeat the header row. And then convert to text is a cool little thing. Let me show you that one. So let's say you've got an Excel file here and um, you're going to highlight the text in your Excel file and you want to bring that into a Word document. You could copy it, click on here onto your Word document, and then paste it. I always just use this first one. And you see it's still in a table. Even though you don't have any borders, you know it's a table because you've got these little circles at the end, and that indicates the end of a cell. So each circle there is the end of a cell, and that's the end of the row. But I don't want these in a table, so I can highlight the table and come over to convert to text and it will say what do you want me to separate it by and so I'll put tabs, tabs is fine and there it is. So I put a tab between each name. Probably would have done just a space but again it's like two seconds to just drop these tabs out. Again because you have your non-printing characters 
showing right here, you know that this is a tab and not just five spaces, and that's important to know because the text will jump uh, when you're trying to t write with it. So let me explain what that meant. So see how the mountain man part jumps? Um, and does like the weird spacing if you were to be typing. That's why you want to get rid of that and just make it a space. Okay, so that is convert to text. You can put some simple formulas and tables. However, if I'm ever doing any of that, I do it in Excel, which is much better suited. Okay. So I've merged the table here at the bottom row. I want to give an incentive. If all chores are done on time, we will go to Big Al's. My kid's new favorite place to go. All I got to say is there's a nice bar downstairs, thankfully. Okay, so we're going to center that. You can do these alignment keys right here on your home tab, but I'm actually going to go and redo that here because I want it to be in the middle. So if I decide to make this one taller, it's going to stay in the middle of that. I'm going to put a table, a title on the top. And this is where knowing how to use those design and styles comes in handy. So I like this one. It's one of my favorites, but I don't particularly like orange, so let's find a better color. Ooh, look at that, it's changing everything. Oh my, that's different. Blue green. Oh, I like that though. Yeah, that's a win. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my home, select my title, and then I have to give it that style of title. And so it pulls it from the design page. So there you go. That's kind of big and bold. Um, you have a row that's taller than the rest or shorter than the rest or what have you. Modified height. I have a merged row across the bottom. I have some border modifications and I have a title with the style of title selected. And then in here you would just put your um, chores, right? chicken. I don't know what those are, but I know what those are. And I'm going to hit control C for copy, control V, and this is why quick keys become, my husband doesn't do chickens, okay, quick keys become really important because you can quickly do that kind of thing. And then you could do uh, feed the dogs, copy it, oh yeah, he doesn't do dogs. Did I get that right? Okay. I always have to think it through a couple of times. All right, so this one is uh, rest on the sofa. Anybody have a husband like that? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, not really. I do love him, though. Anyway, he's the only person I know who could put up with two sets of twins. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I have two sets of twins. <laughs> we have four kids. And there's, that's just too many. I'm kidding. I love them. Anyway, enough on that. I think that's everything. Let's take a look with the non-printing characters removed. Looks pretty clean. Looks like I need to make up some more chores. Someone needs to do dishes besides me. All right, that's good. Thanks.